Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I'll show you how to generate your document with the Salesforce Process Builder. Let's take a look at this uh, form here. So this form brings uh, opportunity information into the form and the opportunity products that's related to that opportunity using that hidden, which is the opportunity ID. And our push is a content version, which is the file. So we're creating a file and we're mapping it into our opportunity ID. So whenever we submit this form, we, we generate this form, it will create our document. Let's take a look at our PDF mapping. So we head over to document generation, and this is our PDF. It's a little bit ugly, but it's fine for our demonstration here. Um, we're gonna head over to settings, scroll down, process builder, and hit configure. And I'm just going to leave this window open. So I'm going to use these guys, the FT form hash and the FT API key. And once you open it for the first time, Form Titan will ask you to select an object. So basically this saying, which object are you creating the document for? So in our instance, is the opportunity object. And then we will select, we will tell Form Titan what is our main hidden or main um, element that we're pulling up all the information from from Salesforce. So in our instance is the op ID and I'm just going to leave this open and head to Salesforce and start with the process builder. So we're going to search for the process builder and here it is and I'll create a new process. Let's say uh, generate doc opportunity and we'll select the record changes. Now we're going to add our opportunity object and say when record is created or edited and in our criteria let's just do no criteria and just run the actions and this is where the fun part begins and the action type will select apex and we're let's just name this docgen do ft docgen and we'll select our class so our class is the form builder ft docgen which comes with the form titan package for salesforce it's already built in so it will be there for you once you install the the form titan package for salesforce we'll select that and then the, this class is requesting three fields from us. So our first field is FT form hash, then our object ID, and the FT API key. So the object ID, we already know what to do with it, or we'll select our opportunity ID. <coughs> and the FT form hash, I'm gonna head back to my form here and grab it from the window here, from the process builder window. I'm gonna paste the value here. Same goes for the FT API key. And um, I will save my process and activate. Now this is a very silly process. Whatever update we have on any opportunity, it will generate. One thing to notice as well that if you have multiple objects in a transaction, let's say a trigger updates a bunch of objects or a class is updating a bunch of objects, we will generate, if it meets the criteria, we will generate the uh, the document for all of your um, um, all of your object within that transaction. So let's head to one of our opportunities here and do a simple update. Let's just modify the name a little bit and hit save. Now I'm going to head over to my integration logs in Form Titan. So we have a new uh, request coming from uh, SF Apex, which means Salesforce Apex, as requested um, to generate with that record ID, which is our opportunity here. And in a moment, it will run our push. And in this instance, our push is generating, is attaching a file into the record. So in a moment, we'll have this attached here. And this is the... Uh, the file that we have attached. Now another thing 
that let's just uh, simulate the multi uh, the multi update. So let's say if I'm just grabbing here, I'm just running a simple code. I'm selecting uh, three opportunities and I'm updating them. And just because we have a silly process builder a process, which every update that generates document, then it will generate a document for three opportunities. So let me just execute this and I'll show you how this looks. I have to log in again. Let me just rewrite this real quick. Grab three, and we will do update opportunities, and we will execute this. And that's it, our request is done. Let's take a look at our integration logs again, and I'll refresh. We can see our three requests for SF Apex for different opportunities. And as soon as this is done, we will get a, an attachment, a file, a content version created for all these um, opportunities. And this is how it's done.